so in gauss serial what we have to do is we have to use the latest value that we have obtained for the variable so if x1 is here the value obtained here should be used here and x2 should be used here but in case of gauss jacobi's the constant value or the value of first iteration was used in second iteration but in case of gauss seidel the value of first iteration is used in the first iteration so for this there is nothing much difference what we do is go to this section and in place of y just write d in place of x we have to write c that represents x3 in case of f write b and in case of e you have to write a then similar process goes on like 0 0 0 0 so the value for 1.11 okay you can check it 1.11 1.5972 2.22 okay now you have you don't have to put the value the value is already over here 10 by 9 that is 1.11 so it will be just you have to press equal to sign then your answer will be there okay so just carry on carry on you will get your value like 1.728 so i am over here just i have to use the uh, equal to sign the answer will be in your display so just carry on until the uh, digits after decimal are identical so in this way gauss seidel method can be done by using calculator within a few minutes so it is easier and the basic difference between gauss seidel and gauss jacobi is that you have to choose or you have to use the value that has been obtained recently in gauss seidel and the value of first iteration is used in second iteration in case of gauss jacobi so in this way you can use calculator for solving the problem efficiently